नमस्कार मित्रांनो आपण मागच्या लेक्चरमध्ये शेवटच्या आर्टिकल पर्यंत मेकॅनिक्स हे बघितलं आता मेकॅनिक्सवर आधारलेले किंवा परीक्षेच्या संदर्भात येणारे जे न्युमेरिकल आहेत जे प्रॉब्लेम्स आहेत त्याविषयी आता आपण बघूया प्रॉब्लेम वाचतो आणि तुम्हाला शक्य असेल तर तुम्ही सुद्धा त्याला लिहायचा प्रयत्न करायचा आहे कॅल्क्युलेट द मास ऑफ द अर्थ कॅल्क्युलेट द मास ऑफ द अर्थ फ्रॉम द फॉलोइंग डेटा मीन्स दॅट दे हॅव बीन गिव्हन अस द डेटा in the data they have given we will write here given things kay dile tanni the radius of the earth it is given radius of the earth what is the radius of the earth this have given रेडियस ऑफ द अर्थ इज इक्वल टू सिक्स इंटू टेन रेस टू एट सेंटीमीटर ही सेज दैट एंड दैट इज नथिंग बट it is a capital letter r from our formula we can say that it is a capital letter r 6 uh, radius of the earth again we will have to uh, see what is this radius of the earth 6 into 10 raised to 8 cm yes then he says about the acceleration due to gravity acceleration due to gravity means small g it is well known to us 980 cm per second square then he has been given the gravitational constant and that gravitational constant means we know that it is denoted by capital letter g and it is 6.6 into 10 raised to minus 8 cm cm what he says i think he has been given in notation what he says centimeter square centimeter square then per gram second square yes now if we read this problem again in that problem he says that we have to calculate the mass of the earth from this type of data then we know that the force with which the earth attracts a unit mass towards its center that is unit mass therefore that unit mass means 1 multiplied by 980 the acceleration due to gravity and is nothing but 980 dynes dynes then 
द फोर्स ऑफ एट्रैक्शन बिटवीन टू मासेस एंड द अर्थ इज गिवन बाय वी नो द फॉर्म्यूला इट इज नथिंग बट एम वन एम टू डिवाइडेड बाय आर स्क्वायर इनटू जी दिस इज द फॉर्म्यूला एंड दिस फॉर्म्यूला वी कैन राइट इन द फॉर्म कैपिटल एम डिवाइडेड बाय आर स्क्वायर into z see by putting the values in this formula we will get the answer of this problem and we have to solve the problem in this way we will solve it see now we know that we will make a simplification m r square g and that is m r square g therefore here we can write or we can take here here only g equal to m r square into z because just we have been make a sentence that the force with which the earth attracts a unit mass towards its center and that is 1 into g 1 is nothing but a unit mass and g is acceleration due to gravity and therefore it is g equal to m by r square into z and by putting the values in this form uh see now we are aware about g g is 980 980 m what is m m that we have to calculate m what is r square see r square he is he has been given that is 6 into 10 raised to 8 6 into 10 raised to 8 we will make a square of this quantity multiplied by gravitational constant that is 6.6 multiplied 6.6 into 10 raised to minus 8 and by this calculations we will have the mass equal to nothing but 53.45 into 10 raised to 26 Graphs. This is a required answer, and this problem can be asked in our coming examinations. See, friends, this problem also was asked in Punjab University for their degree uh, degree students for any other examinations. Now we will see the another problem, which is again. having or to find out the constant of gravitation see in this problem i will read it if you are able to write the problem you can write see now this problem says assuming that a sphere of mass 40 kg means in given we can write in given yes what he says assuming that sphere of mass 40 kg therefore m1 equal to 
40 kp yes friends we are using the system of units for solving the problem cgs and therefore for kg 40 into 10 uh, kg therefore 1000 means it will come in grams then m2 by a second square of mass 80 kg this is nothing but 80 kg 80 kg again 80 into 1000 grams then when their centers are 30 centimeter apart centers are 30 centimeter apart means that the distance and we denote the distance by small letter r and it is nothing but 30 centimeter apart 30 centimeter apart with a force equal to the weight of 1 by 4 mg 1 by 4 mg f equal to 1 by 4 mg 1 by 4 mg means again we have to convert this quantity 1 by 4 into 1 by 10 raised to 3 grams equals to what 1 by 4 1 by 4 into 1 by 10 raised to 3 into we have to convert it in dimes therefore multiplied by it 981 dimes see we having all the formulas and all the things are given here then very simply we have to put these values in the formula see once again assuming that a sphere of mass see now here sphere of mass what he says 40 kg this is a sphere this is a having a weight 40 kg he is attracted by a second sphere this is attracted by a second sphere this is a second sphere and it having a mass of 80 kg mass of 80 kg when their centers are how much in, uh, distance 30 centimeter centers 30 centimeter apart within a force equal to the weight of 1 by 4 mg 1 by 4 mg means f equal to 1 by 4 mg yes we have been converted into this much quantity and therefore we having a formula f equal to f equal to m1 m2 upon r square into g see friends we having all the quantities we know f m1 m2 distance r square of it and by which we are able to calculate the g value of g and here in this case the value of g is nothing but 6.897 into 10 raised to minus 8 cgs unit c g s unit 
this is the answer you have to solve this and one the problem we will see here see friends this problem was also asked in the past question paper of uh, agra and mumbai university agra and mumbai university now we will see the another one of this type or uh, it may be occur of other type see friends we will see the another one see the problem you can write if you want to write the radius of the earth they have been given the radius of the earth in this way 